Morning guys, I just woke up after a huge weekend at PAX. It was so exhausting. I don't even know how it's that exhausting. I think it's just a mix of not getting that much sleep with just the whole atmosphere of lights, big noises, big screens everywhere and you're like constantly taking stuff in and you're just like, oh my gosh. Today I'm going to be judging the Deligracy Blueprint challenge. I'm so excited. The, the houses that have been entered into it just look insane to the membrane, like so good. Uh, I feel like I really need to lift my building skills because some of the entries were just like actually blow me away. Over on my wall over there, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see what's on there, but that is pretty much the December Christmas schedule. So I am actually, I have my entire November month planned out every weekday and weekend what I'm doing because I'm working full time. I have to be really organized and to get content out to you guys in December because my work's going to be so busy. Um, I have to pre-record a lot of it now. So that's my schedule for the next month. I'm going to be a social hermit crab. I'm not really going to see many people, but I'm really excited to record, especially after PAX, meeting all these amazing YouTubers. I'm just like, I want my life to be YouTube. I just, I love you guys so much. And it's just, it just, black I can't even talk, it makes me so happy. Um, I thought I would tell you guys a little bit about PAX because it was just really, really awesome. I feel like I have never, like I've been to PAX, I went last year, but I feel like I've never really been fully able to learn a lot about the whole gaming community. Like for instance, tabletop games, I, I really didn't know they existed and I was just blown away by looking at all the miniatures and stuff. So I thought I'd just quickly talk about my time that I was there thanks to Intel. Um, Australia so I did want to say thank you to them and um, for having me and getting me there and I was just I guess first up the best thing was seeing uh, James and Tom so James the Sim Supply or James Turner YouTube and Critic Zeus. Oh my god. My we name is Zeus. Got, we got I the like best you. Lighting. High five. Oh. Okay, well. uh, they're really good friends of mine and even though we were both like all of us were running around and super busy. It was really awesome to see those friends because they are lovely boys. Basically the first day of PAX was a really, really rainy, grisly morning. It was so great. It was so typically Melbourne. Uh, Melbourne is described as having four seasons in one day because maybe at about lunchtime, it was full sunshine, blue sky. It was like 28 degrees Celsius, which is pretty warm. Uh, I've got no idea what that is in Fahrenheit, so sozzles, but, um, <laughs> and I went to a Twitch streaming party and that was really fun, played games, I got really, really into the crocodile game, like whacking crocodiles, uh, Tom Critic Zeus also got into that as well, but, um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. There were tickets everywhere, coming out machines, because it was like at a bowling and arcade place with a VIP bar upstairs. So yeah, my first crisis probably was that I had especially ordered a top to wear and uh, my top didn't arrive in the mail in time. So I like to plan my outfits. I'm a total girl and a lot. Although Saturday night I was on a panel, I played After Dawn with James and Tom and I went into the panel room, I was running late as I always am, and uh, I realised there was like a, a pretty significantly big line out the front. I kind of asked one of the helpers, I was like, are, those people aren't coming in to watch, are they? They're like, yeah, they are. They're here to watch. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I like don't play console games. I only play Sims. <laughs> so anyways, I went into this convention center hall and it was big. It was like rows of seats, big screen with my face on it behind me. And I was like, well, this is awkward because I did not do my hair very nicely. <laughs> and then, um, but it was, it was really fun. Um, but yeah, day three was really, 
really good because I was representing Intel as an ambassador with a few other YouTubers and they asked for me to just be on camera for them for a little while to explain just what I was doing at PAX, what I was enjoying and um, they encouraged me to they encouraged me to go look at the free play areas and I'm really glad they did because I didn't even realize the whole free play area of PAX, to be honest, because it's kind of separate from everything else. And, you know, basically, if you don't know what it is, um, free play is basically the opportunity for you to go free play on really good gaming PCs, games like that you love or haven't played yet, or they also have free play console, they have free play console tournaments, so you can verse your friends, you can verse strangers. A few of them were getting like really big crowds. On the last the night of the last day, on the last night of the last day, that sounds so poetic. Um, I went out for dinner thanks to El Gato capture cards and surprise attack. And it was really nice just to wind down, have a nice kind of more intimate dinner with just a few other YouTubers and streamers. And um, it was just really nice to just get to know other people and kind of debrief. Um, Thank you, Ozzy Cozzy, for having me and inviting me, and Emma, uh, she's a lovely lady. And I had a great meal, I had uh, bruschetta to begin with that was really delicious, then chicken breast, and then I had just fruit salad, so that was pretty good. And um, I met Master Bucks, who's like a FIFA uh, YouTuber and streamer, I think he's a streamer as well, I'm not sure, streamer, well anyway. He's a big FIFA player coming out of Australia, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then I met Chinglish TV. He is cool. He has like tattoos all over his head. And I was like, wow, you're so much cooler than me because <laughs> I could never tattoo my head. I couldn't do that. And you know what? He did it really tastefully, which I don't think many people pull off. Um, so that was impressive. And he's, he was a lovely guy, lovely guy. Um, then I met Pitesh and he, I hope, I, I hope I'm saying their names correctly. I've met a lot of people, so I apologize if I haven't, but, um, he was, or he is a, another YouTuber. He actually kind of cleverly edits conversations he has with his friends into a video, um, and puts it on YouTube and it's very funny. Um, so he was cool. And then I met, oh, um, then I met Ziggy D. He was really nice. He's a YouTuber and streamer coming out of Australia and he's a lovely lady. Um, he was very sweet too. And it was just like a nice, just a nice group of people and I really enjoyed it. And then I caught a train home and I missed my stop. So then I had to get off another stop and then get a taxi to come home. And, um, I got, I was so like wide and excited and just on Twitter and Instagram posting everything that I stayed up till about midnight and then I woke up this morning at 7.30 because I always wake up at 7.30, so I just wake up at 7.30. Um, but yeah, so today I'm unpacking all of this. I'm doing my washing, cute underpants. Um, Oh my gosh, the mess is real. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to judge the Delicacy Blueprint competition because the entries have been amazeballs. Um, and then I am going to be recording. I've actually asked on Twitter. I did a um, like one of those things that you raise one, a poll. I put a poll on Twitter because that's like a new feature on Twitter and. Basically, you guys have been voting of voting if I should record Outdoors LP that I missed or Barbie LP because Barbie's meant to be up today um, first or if I should clean my room and you guys said to clean my room and to wash your stinky clothes. So I'm gonna do that. And yeah, I'm just so excited. Thanks you guys for supporting me. Um, so much because really I would not have the opportunity to go to PAX to meet these really cool people without you guys and I just am really thankful and I'm 
really excited to make more videos for you guys and I love you and I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Hey guys, my package just arrived. Zulu and Zephyr. I don't know how you actually pronounce that, but woo! new things, new things, new things. Ooh, thank you. Made just for you. That's nice. Okay, so let's have a look. I got some bathers here. Those are my cushions. Um, so I'm going leopard prints. Leopard print's pretty like outrageous for me. I don't usually do, well, that's a total lie because this is all leopard print. I think I'm going through a stage. I think I'm going through my leopard print stage. Yeah. Um, but so I've got these little bikini bottoms and then this bikini top, which I quite like because it's got some support. Like it's a, I don't know, it's not just triangles. Like it's got, the underwire thing going on so i like that gorgeous and then this top oh what i didn't even notice but this top has oh i really like this so it's like a singlet top type thing but then the back of it's got this sneaky like cord stuff going on so that's really cool um new purchase exciting times so I will probably put this maybe in some kind of lookbook video. Some stage I do have that on my recording schedule. So um, 